So the title of the um, of this subsection of the textbook is using fundamental identities. And we're not going to dwell too long on this section because a lot of this material is just a retread of stuff we've already done. What the textbook calls fundamental identities are really definitions. This is how the tangent secant, cosecant, and cotangent were defined in terms of the sine and the cosine. So when you then look at example five, for example, this is stuff that we've already done. I mean, it's phrased a little weirdly. Um, because it says, you know, given that the sine of 45 degrees is this and the cosine is that, evaluate the tangent. But, you know, we've done examples, find the tangent of 30 degrees using the fact that you know the sine of 30 and the cosine of 30. So this doesn't need to be dwelled on. This stuff, example six out of the textbook, is sometimes useful when we have one trig function divided by another trig function, like the secant divided by the tangent. We can sometimes although not always, simplify these expressions using the fact that the trig functions, in this case the secant and the tangent, are themselves fractions. The secant is one divided by the cosine, the tangent is the sine divided by the cosine. Those cosines cancel, and we're left with one divided by the sine, which is the cosecant. So it's always worthwhile when you have something like this, one trig function divided by another, to pause a moment and check whether this can't be written in some simpler way.